Rabbit's Tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. Military camp. No locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you? You look like trouble. Dead wrong. I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. <laughs> a witcher? Captain Peter Sagwin Levy is in the tower. Turn right, past the gate. Huh. You black ones aren't so scary after all. Can even be nice if you want to. Don't get accustomed, Nordling. To the tower. Go. Password. Don't know any. So, out for a little walk, you, eh? Counting the Emperor's swords to lull you to sleep? Well, in the army, we've a place for nosy ramblers. The scaffold. And thick skulled quartermasters? They got a place. <laughs> ah, you're clearly skilled at banter. And haggling? You got a knack for that as well? Show me where you're peddling. So long. Are you here to spot? Like you to craft something for me. So long. How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? These are not the hands of an Excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier and... You will give thirty, and that will do. Let us settle on it, and I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. I summoned only the Elderman and the Smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. Very perceptive of you. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Vatgarn. This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? There is a griffin in the area. Slay it. Then I shall see what I can do. Why do you care about this griffin? Because I care about people. 
The beast has killed ten already, including a few of my men. To hunt it, I would need to mobilize the entire garrison, comb the woods, organize a batu. Simply impossible. Too big a hassle? No. Too high a risk. I cannot disperse my forces. Demeria's army we have crushed, but its common folk remain, ready to answer a call to arms. So, as to this griffin, I can sit on my hands, or hire a professional. It's a deal. Some questions before I start. Know where the griffin has its lair? It kept to the vulpine woods at first. I sent a patrol there, five young men. A hunter found them two days on. They only recognized them because they wore our plate. Since then, the griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? Need more information about this griffin, its sex, why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died. Look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mizlov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. I'll need bait. A specific herb. Buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck... Buckthorn? I do not know this. But I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm -hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. No. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. Tamira and Mislav. Thanks. Es sun yakten. Time. Not at all. Hand me the beggar tickets, the... Red Bloom. Well, well, one versed in herbs. Probably saying too much, but I know a bit. For instance, that beggar tick's poisonous. In large doses, small ones soothe pain and bring forth pleasant dreams. Which is all I can hope to do for her. Griffin, do that to her. Delina. Yes. Attacked her at night, she was walking in the woods. At night? Through the woods? In wartime? 
Meeting a boy. The young, you know, do foolish things for love. Wounds are healing, but she will die. Blood's pooling in her skull. Nothing my bruise can do to help. Could try to help her with one of my potions. Swallow can heal internal hemorrhages. But? Witcher's potions aren't for humans. She'll die as it is. Yes. A peaceful death soothed by your concoctions. If I give her Swallow and something goes wrong, the whole village will hear her screams. I understand. Do as you will. Looking for Buckthorn. Know if it grows anywhere around here? Hmm. Bottom of the river, where the channel's widest. But you do know that once out of the water... It'll stink worse than a weak old carcass. Counting on it. I'm hunting the griffin. Need the buckthorn for bait. I was thinking... A few years ago we had trouble, drowners under the bridge. A whole village had to pitch in for a witcher. Who now can afford the bounty on a griffin's head? Captain Peter Sars... something something. Ah, good to know the Black One's looking out for our welfare. Nilfgaard values one thing. Order. Griffin's disturbing that. It's gotta go. Yes. First they'll tend to the monsters, then to the folk. Not from here, are you? A lot of bitterness in you. Too much for someone who spent her life in a hut in the middle of nowhere. True. And you're in a hurry. Elsewise you'd not use bait, just wait for the griffin to attack again. Believe we could have an interesting conversation. Maybe next time. Yes? Tell me something about yourself. What's your story? A sad one. Do you know the Temple of Melitale in Alanda? Do I know it? Can't remember how many times I've been there, how many times Mother Nenica stitched me up. We must have missed each other. I started to become a healer under Mother Nenica. Hmm. I was but 18 when they took me in. An age at which teachings interest one far less than love. There was a boy, Goslath. He'd bare his chest to work. The novices couldn't keep their eyes off him, tripped over their own feet, dropped things. I left the temple for him. We passed a lovely summer together, and then he left. Neneke refused to take me back. My parents uttered not a word. Gave me a travel cloak and a small coin pouch. I struggled long to find a place where I'd feel safe, needed until I finally arrived here. End of story. Got any herbs you're willing to sell? I'm sure I can find something. Listen, ever heard of a woman named Claire? Lived around here? Heard of her? A mild way to put it. Claire was a friend. The only person dear to me in all of White Orchard. Until her husband, Volker, quarreled with the Lord of the Manor. 
He then gathered the family, moved out into the woods to start a new settlement. The Lord and his retinue rode there to convince them to return. They were to be civil. No forcing, no bloodshed, but you saw. Word is Claire said something about the Lord's son, Florian. Something that made the Lord furious. But who knows the truth? Lots of misfortune for such a small village. It is so in every village. Even the smallest. You need only ask. But let's not end on a teary note. Here, a bit of solace. Yes? Farewell. Time to end this.
come closer. Yes? Got a potion for Lena. Swallow. First sign of spring. Symbol of rebirth. Fitting as names go. We'll see. Like I said, could harm her. Deeply. Works on me immediately. But I have a faster metabolism. Effects won't appear in her case for a few days. Why'd you choose this in the end? Decided it was better than doing nothing. I like you, Witcher. Here. A small gift. For giving a damn. Yes? Toss a coin to your Witcher, O Valley of Plenty. Farewell. O Valley of Plenty, O.
My good buddies, if you're enjoying this playthrough, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, be sure to check out some of my other completed Let's Plays, such as Wind Waker HD or Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. Appreciate it as always, guys.